Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. So big news, the Hearthstone reset is actually happening today. It's actually happening like uh, three hours from now. And uh, unfortunately, this is going to occur during the Path of Exile one-week race. But fortunately, uh, pretty much done most of what I uh, wanted to do in the one-week race. Uh, the character that I've been playing, the Trapper, which I'm sure you guys, if you're interested, you can check out other videos and all that. I'm not going to talk about too much of the details, but... Yesterday when I logged off, I was fifth on the ladder, and you know, playing solo, playing with this build, playing as aggressively as I had, taking as many risks as I had, I actually had the opportunity, the possibility, to come up first in a turbo one week race solo, just because my XP per time invested was absolutely unmatched, and uh, you know, I'm kind of disappointed that I won't get a chance to do that, but um, you know. I've been kind of waiting for this uh, Hearthstone thing. I think when Hearthstone gets reset, uh, it's going to be awesome. I mean, when when like a new game gets released, a lot of people get really excited. I know this isn't like the game being released because not everyone has access, but I do. So yeah, it feels really fucking good. Start from scratch again when everyone else starts from scratch. Uh, you know, get the cards going now with you know a decent amount of knowledge in the game. Start up arena, see the changes, play a little bit. I'm really excited to get back in Hearthstone all over again, and um, while the Path of Exile stuff has been truly amazing, actually, um, you know, I probably won't continue with it too much. Now, the patch won't happen right away when I start streaming tonight, so I'll be playing PoE a little bit, and I might be playing PoE a little bit later in the week, because, you know, I think it'll be pretty easy to get a top 20 spot in the race, and it would be pretty awesome to do so, seeing as I've been playing solo. Now, as far as the uh, Hearthstone patch is concerned, it looks like uh, Rogues and Druids got absolutely destroyed with the nerfs, which is great, because it was really annoying to play against some of those in Constructed and Arena. And uh, funny enough, the only class that had zero changes to it, the Paladin. So I guess, um, you know, Blizzard agreed that the Paladin was in a pretty good spot, you know, fairly solid, uh, many good cards, almost top tier but easily countered by a lot of the overpowered cards in the game, which have now been pretty nerfed. They buffed priests, they buffed uh, warriors. In my opinion, warriors have been buffed a tremendous amount. They may be near, or if not top tier, even in constructed. And um, while priests have been buffed, I still feel that it'll be very difficult to gain board control as a priest. Yes, you have some kill cards, yes, it'll be easier, but I think the losses you're gonna have are still going to be the same. Another big thing is they nerfed the, the turn two bullcrap, which I've made a video about in the past where rogues will, you know, turn one, drop a two mana cost, defi uh, Defias ringleader with a combo and get you know, the fucking 2-3 and the 2-1, and you pretty much lose the game right there. They nerfed that a little bit, though not not enough in my opinion. It's a 2-2 two -two with a 2-1. So being a 2-1, it's kind of easily dealt with depending on your class, but other classes don't have it so easy. So it kind of sucks for some, like if you're playing a priest, you're pretty fucked. But if you're playing like a druid, yeah, you're gonna do okay, I think. The other thing, uh, which is pretty uh, interesting, happens to be uh, with the Pint-Sized Summoner. The Pint-Sized Summoner was the other bullshit turn 2 drop, and that got nerfed, and that reduces the mana cost of uh, your first summon spell at turn by 1 instead of 2, and that pretty much makes a huge difference, because you can't immediately back it up with the immense Taunt card. You can if you go first, so you can do a turn 2 Pint-Sized, followed by a turn 3 Senji and Shieldmaster. But if you go second and you do a turn one pint size, you know, following it up with a three drop is not going to be as potent. And that fixes a lot of problems, uh, in my opinion. Uh, so, you know, that among a lot of other cool changes, you guys can check it out. I'll give you guys a link. And uh, we'll be playing tonight. So come check it out if you want. I'll see you guys tomorrow.